Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox Fan coming to you from Al Red Sox Fan YouTube station and we're bringing you Game 5 of the 1967 Boston Red Sox versus the 1978 New York Yankees. The Red Sox lead the series three games to one and are looking to close out the series here in the Bronx. The Yankees need to win to send it back to Boston. Hello PB4 Gaming, how are you buddy? How does it sound? Hope all is well. Loved your spoilers. I tweeted them out and liked them. Good stuff, my friend. On The Walking Dead. All right, back to the game here. So let's quickly go through the Red Sox lineup here in game number five. Yankees took uh, game number one, two to one. Bucky Dent had the game-winning RBI. Ron Guidry was the winning pitcher as he comes back for game number five now. The Red Sox took... Game two, seven to five. Game, games three and four, both four to one, I believe. And we can go over that later. As you can see, the Red Sox lead the series three to one. <clears throat> Batting first for the Boston Red Sox and playing center field, Reggie Smith. And I switched the rating system one through ten. I'm going to try that out. I was doing one through twenty but I switched the rating system. So Reggie Smith batting first, playing center field. Mike Andrews batting second, playing second base. Carl Ustremski batting third and playing left field. George C. Scott playing first base and batting fourth. Batting fifth, the shortstop, Rico Petroselli. Batting sixth, the designated hitter, Dalton Jones. Batting seventh, and playing right field, Tony Caligniero. Batting eighth and playing third base, Joe Foy. And doing the catching and batting ninth, Mike J. Ryan. <clears throat> Thank you, PB4 Gaming. He says it sounds clear and good. Appreciate the uh, help there, PB4. And also, if you like Walking Dead and just odds and ends of fun stuff, check out PB4 Gaming's YouTube channel. It's very fun. He has a lot of neat stuff on there. A lot of Walking Dead spoilers, so I suggest check out PB4 Gaming. Good friend of the channel. <clears throat> Doing the pitching for the Yankees, Ron Guidry, Louisiana Lightning. His battery mate, Thurman Munson, who's a nine defensive rating for a catcher, 7-arm, outstanding. The Yankees have a very, very good infield defensively. At third, Greg Nettles, he's an 8 defense. Bucky Dent at short, he's a 7 defense. Willie Randolph at second, 7 defense. Chris Shambliss at first, 7 defense. Again, we're using the 1 through 10 rating system I switched. I want to see how that goes. Normally, I play with the 1 through 20. <clears throat> As good as the Yankee infield is defensively, their outfield is just as stellar. In left field, Roy White, defense of 7, arm of 10, outstanding. Mickey Rivers, center field, defense of 8, arm 10. Reggie Jackson, in right field, defense of 7, arm 10. So that's an outstanding infield and outfield. And let's move on to the game. We have PB4 game, Gaming in the chat, but he's leaving. He says, bye for now. Well, hopefully we'll catch you later, PB4, for the Walking Dead live reaction in chat, my friend. Take care. God bless. <clears throat> All right. Reggie Smith will step to the plate. He is 4 for 19 in the series, batting 211, no homers, no RBI. Against left-handed pitching, he has a contact to 6. Power of six, eye of six. So he's above average, all of them. Again, one through ten rating system. He's a switch hitter. He's going to be batting right-handed against the left-handed Ron Guidry. Ron Guidry won game number one, and in 1978, he was 25 and three with a 1.74 ERA, outstanding. Ron Guidry's stuff, and that's how well he throws his pitches is an 8. Very good. Movement 9. Excellent. Control 7. Very good. So he's a, that's why he was, um, once again, in 1978, that's why he was 25-3. and three. His stamina is 10. Outstanding. So 
so he can go deep into a ball game. And he throws strikes. In 1978, he struck out 248 batters, only walked 72. Reggie Smith will be swinging away. Gidry sets and delivers to Smith. And he strikes him out in the 2-2 count. Yankees throw the ball around the infield. One away. Mike Andrews steps to the plate for the Red Sox. In the series, he's 4 for 16, 2 RBIs. That's a 250 clip. Against left-handed pitchers, con uh, contact of 7, power of 4, which is below average, eye of 7. So the contact and eye numbers are very good. In 1967, Mike Andrews hit 263. Eight homers and 40 RBIs. Munson flashes the sign. Gidry sets and delivers to Andrews, swinging away. And that ball's down to Nettles, who fires over the Chambliss. Out number two. Now batting with two outs as the Yankee faithful cheer that play by Greg Nettles. Now batting with two outs, Captain Carl Yastrzemski. He was the MVP in 1967 and Triple Crown winner. Captain Carl, in this series, 8 hits and 15 at-bats, no homers, 2 RBIs. That's a 533 batting average. He's a left-handed pull hitter. And against left-handed pitching, contact of 8, power of 7, eye of 6, good solid numbers there. But not as good as against right-handed pitching. Stremski will be taking. Gidry sets and delivers. Strike one on the off-speed pitch. 0-1 count. Yankee infield and outfield. Normal and straight away. Stremski will be swinging away. Munson flashes the sign. Gidry nods his head. Here's the pitch to Yaz. And Yaz strikes out in the 2-2 count. So a 1-2-3 inning for Ron Gidry. And the Yankees will bat in the bottom of the first. Hello, Tim Gersh. How you doing? Let's go through the Yankee lineup quite quickly. Playing second and batting first, Willie Randolph. Catching and batting second, Thurman Munson. Batting third and playing third, Greg Nettles. Batting fourth, the cleanup hitter, Reggie Jackson, Mr. October, though the Sox have held him down in this series so far. Batting fifth, Sweet Lou Pinella. He's the DH. Batting sixth and playing left field, the switch hitting Roy White. Playing center field, Mick the Quick, Mickey Rivers, and he's batting seventh. Batting eighth, the first baseman, Chris Chambliss. And batting ninth and playing shortstop, Bucky Dent. The Red Sox defensively. We've switched up our pitching rotation. As we're going to hold Lombard, Jim Lombard back. In the game one, it was Jim Lombard against uh, Ron Gittry. And the Sox lost a very close pitcher's duel, 2-1. to one. We're going to hold Jim Lombard back for game six if necessary. Pitching today is Jose Santiago. He won game two. His battery mate. And good defensive catcher, Mike J. Ryan. Defensive eight, arm of seven. Jose Santiago in 1967. 12 wins, four losses, five saves, ERA of 3.59. At third base, solid fielding, Joe Foy. He's a six. At shortstop, Rico Petroselli. Another solid fielder, he's a six. Mike Andrews at second base. Another solid fielder, he's a six. And the best fielder in the infield, George C. Scott at first. He's a seven. Red Sox have a good, solid outfield. Captain Carl Jastrzemski playing left. Defense of nine, arm of ten. Outstanding. And center field, Reggie Smith. Defense of seven, arm of five, so his arm is average. And in right field, Tony Caligniero. Defense of 7, arm 10. His arm is outstanding. He gunned down two runners at the plate against the Yankees in Game 3 to help maintain the 
Red Sox lead and guide them to victory, though Tony C has continued to struggle at the plate. So Willie Randolph will lead off the game. Willie's 4 for 14, no homers, no RBIs. That's a 286 average. And against right-handed pitching, contact is 7, power of 2, well below average, and eye of 8. Willie is a right-handed normal hitter. Red Sox infield and outfield straight away in normal. Santiago sets and delivers to Randolph. And that ball is hit out in the left. Yastrzemski is right there to make the catch. He didn't even have to move. One away. Thurman Munson steps to the plate. The Yankee catcher and captains. Four for 15. No homers. Two RBIs. That's 267 batting average. Against right-handed pitcher. Contact of eight, which is very good. Power of two. High of three. Those numbers are both below average and poor. So we can... Get Munson to chase. He's a right-handed spray hitter. Santiago against right-handed batters. His stuff is four, so it's below average. But he has ex very good movement with seven and control is six, which is good. Red Sox infield and outfield straight away for Munson. Ryan flashes a sign. Santiago sets and delivers to Thurman. And that ball is blooped out in the left. Here comes Carl Yastrzemski, and he makes the catch. Out number two. So Yastrzemski with the first two putouts in the bottom of the first. Now stepping to the plate, the very dangerous Greg Nettles. In 1978, Greg Nettles hit 276, 27 homers, and 93 RBIs. In the series, he's 4 for 16, no homers, 1 RBI. That's a 250 batting average. He is a left-handed pull hitter. Against right-handed pitching, contact to seven, power of seven, eye of six. Good numbers there offensively. The Red Sox will shift right in the infield, outfield straight away in normal. Santiago, Santiago sets and delivers to Nettles. That ball sent out to right field. Klingnera moves over to the right field line and makes the catch for out number three. One, two, three inning for Jose Santiago. No score after one. We go to the top of the second. Leading off for the Red Sox, their first baseman, George C. Scott. Scott is 5 of 13 in the series. One homer, two RBIs. That's a 385 batting average against left handed pitching. Contact of nine, which is excellent. Power and eye of six. Good, solid numbers there. In 1967, George Scott hit 303. 19 homers and 82 RBIs. Again, Gidry's numbers against right-handed batters. Stuff of eight, very good. Movement of nine, excellent. Control, seven, excellent. Stamina of ten, excellent. Scott will be swinging away. Louisiana Lightning sets and delivers to Scott. And Scott rips that ball in the left for a single. Roy Wright bobbles it, and Scott will keep running into second. So that's a single with a one-base error as Scott moves up to second. Scott has a speed of five and stealing ability of six. Solid numbers there. Again, the rating system is one through ten. We've switched it from one to twenty. So the Red Sox are threatening here. In the top of the second, in this elimination game, Red Sox win this game. The series is over. The Yankees win this game, and they go come back to play another day back in Boston. This game is being played in the Bronx. Capacity crowd. Petroselli steps to the plate. He's 8 for 15. One homer, two RBIs. That's a 533 batting average. Rico had the tying home run in the second inning of the last game. Against left-handed pitching, his contact is 7, which is very good. Power and eye, 6, respectively. Solid numbers there. In 1967, Rico Petroselli hit 259, 17 homers, and 66 RBIs. Petroselli will be swinging away. Here's the wind-up and the pitch to Petroselli. And he walks on the 3-1 count. So there's a rarity, a Ron Guidry walk. 
So runners at first and second. That now sets up the double play for the Yankees. Dalton Jones, the designated hitter, comes to the plate. This is not correct. 0 for 1. He is not 0 for 1 in this series. I don't know why all of a sudden that did not load properly. Dalton Jones has uh, three hits. He's hitting 286 and he's driven in three runs, I believe. Because I checked that out. I was like, that's not right, but I don't know why it switched it. Anyway, against left-handed pitching, Dalton Jones has a contact of 5, power of 3, eye of 4. So the contact of 5 is an average number, solid. The power and eye are well below average. He is a um, left-handed pull hitter. Sacrifice of a 2, bunt for a hit of a 5. Against lefties, Ron Guidry, stuff 8, movement 9, Contact seven. I mean, he's just Ron Guidry's just an outstanding pitcher, either against lefties or righties in 1978. So the Red Sox have Dalton Jones up. We're gonna play a little hit and run here. Guidry sets and delivers to Jones. Hit and run, and he fouls the ball off. I just think we have a better opportunity to move the runners over. Oh, it's raining. We're gonna have a rain delay. How thrilling! The rain has stopped. The delay lasted 48 minutes. That's outstanding. So we had the exciting rain delay here. Scott's at second. Petroselli at first. Scott has decent speed at second. Petroselli slow as dirt at first. Dalton Jones steps back into the batter's box after the rain delay. 0-1 count. We had, we're trying to do the hit and run. Yankees infield and outfield normal and straight away. Jones is going to bunt. And he missed the bunt. No balls, two strikes. So we're unable to move the runners over on the first two pitches. Dalton Jones will be swinging away. Munson flashes the sign. Louisiana Lightning sets and delivers to Jones. And Jones rips that ball to second. It's going to go four to six to three double play. So Randolph to Dent to Shambliss. Scott moves to third. Now there's two outs. And it's going to be up to Tony Caligniero, who is having a miserable time at the plate in this series. One for 16, no homers, no RBIs. That is a .063 batting average. Needs to break out of it here. Against left-handed pitching, contact of eight, power of eight. Excellent numbers there. Eye of five. Caligniero will be swinging away. Guidry sets and delivers to Tony C. And Tony C rips one deep, going back as Roy White, but this one's out of the ballpark. A two-run homer for Tony Caligniero. The Red Sox lead two to nothing as he breaks out of his slump in a big way. As he gets a Bronx cheer from the Yankee fans as they boo. Tony C crushed that 0-1 pitch deep to the left field fence. That was 340 feet. High fives all over in the Red Sox dugout. As they take a 2-0 lead, Gidry just hangs his head. Throws the rosin bag back to the mound. Now up Joe Foy. Joe Foy, 2 for 12 in this series. Two homers and five RBIs. He's batting 167. Contact of 6 versus left-handed pitching. Power of 6. Eye of 6. Solid numbers across the board. Foy will be swinging away. Let's see if the Red Sox can go back-to-back -back jacks. Munson flashes the sign. Gidry sets and delivers to Joe Foy. And Foy sends one deep to left. Right, right, going back, back, back. Down the road. He can't get to it. Foy has himself a triple. Excellent. So the last two batters are beating up on Ron Gidry here. So an additional run is at third base, but the light-hitting catcher Mike J. Ryan is up. He's 0 for 7 in the series. Red Sox catchers are 0 for everything in the series. Him and Elston Howard are horrible offensively. Solid defensively, but very poor offensively. Contact of 4. Power of 2. I of 6. He'll be taking. Gidry sets and delivers to Ryan. Ball 1. As he tr brushes Ryan back off the plate, sending Ryan a message. After the Red Sox hitters have hit him hard the last two batters. Caligniero and Foy. One ball, no strikes. Ryan will be taken again. Here's the pitch. Ball two. He comes inside again. Ryan just stares out at him. Gidry stares back at him. Munson tells Ryan something. Now there's a little 
discussion between both catchers. Ryan gets back in the batter's box. Gidry sets and delivers. Ryan will be taking. Strike one. So two balls, one strike. Ryan will be swinging away. Gidry sets and delivers to Ryan. And Ryan poops one out into right field. Reggie Jackson coming on hard. And he makes the fine run and catch the end of the inning. But the Red Sox get two on the Tony Caligniero bomb to left field and lead the Yankees 2-0. We go to the bottom of the second. Leading off for the New York Yankees, Reggie Jackson, Mr. October. 3 for 15 in this series. No home runs, one RBI. He's hitting 200. Left-handed pull hitter. Contact is 7. Power of 8. Eye of 7. Outstanding numbers there for Mr. October. Red Sox infield will shift right against the left-handed pull hitter. Outfield straight away and normal. Santiago sets and delivers to Jackson. Jackson sends a blooper out in the left. Yastrzemski catches that ball in the left center. What a fine running catch by Captain Carl. One away. Now up, sweet Lou Pinella. Five for 15. No home runs, two RBIs. That's a 333 batting average. Contact of nine, power of three, eye of four. So the contact is excellent. Eye and power are very poor. He's a right-handed pull hitter. Red Sox infield will shift left. Here's the wind-up and the pitch as Santiago's going to try to get him to chase. And he walked him on the 3-1 count. Sure went right at him. My fault. I want to see if we can get him to chase. He didn't. Pinella, not very fast. Speed of 2, stealing a 7. So he's not a bad base runner, but he's slow. Roy White steps to the plate. The switch hitter will be batting right-handed. I'm sorry, will be batting left-handed. Roy White's 1 for 14 in the series. No homers, 1 RBI. That's a .071 batting average. Contact of 7. Very good. Power of 5, eye of 6. The power is average. The eye is above average. Red Sox he will shift into double play depth in the infield. Outfield straight away. Santiago sets and delivers to White. White. That's a base hit in the center field. Pinello's going to go first to third as Reggie Smith muffs the ball. And now, on the muff, Roy White goes to second. Red Sox, I'm sorry, the Yankees have a tying run of Roy White at second base. Mickey Rivers steps to the plate. There's one out. Mickey Rivers is one for 12. No home runs. One RBI. Hitting 083. Left-handed pull hitter. Red Sox infield will shift right. Against right-handed pitching, contact is 7, power of 4, eye of 3. All below average numbers there to pour for power and eye for Mickey Rivers. Santiago gets the sign from Ryan. He sets and delivers to make the quick. That ball's up the middle. Andrews goes the first. One away. I'm sorry, Petroselli goes the first. Run scores, 2-1. to one. Tying run at third in Roy White. One out, Chris Shambla steps to the plate. So that walk comes back to haunt Santiago as the Bronx fans cheer here. Shambla at the plate. Two for 13 in the series. No homers, no RBIs, 154 average. Contact is seven, power of four, eye of four. Contact's a very good number. Eye and power, very poor. Left-handed normal hitter. Red Sox infield and outfield straight away and normal. Santiago sets and delivers the Shamblas. That ball is grounded to Andrews. What happened there? Oh, it's a line drive. Double play. Excellent. So Andrews caught the ball and fired quickly to Foy at third. Reds maintaining the Red Sox lead. So Shambliss is robbed of a hit and it turns into a double play. We go to the top of the third. 67 Red Sox 2, 78 Yankees 1. Reggie Smith to lead off. 0 for 1 today. 1967, Reggie Smith hit 246, 15 homers, and 61 RBIs. Contact of six, power of six, eye of six, all good solid numbers there against left handed pitching. Gidry sets and delivers a Smith swinging away, and Smith pops that ball up. Munson is under it, and he makes the catch. Out number one. Mike Andrews steps to the plate. Right handed batter. 
0 for 1 today, 4 for 17 in the series, 2 RBIs, contact of 7, power of 4, I of 7, so contact of 9 numbers, very good. 1967, Mike Andrews hit 263, 8 homers and 40 RBIs. Andrews will be swinging away. Gidry sets and delivers. Andrews rips that ball in the right field. And that's a single. So Andrews is at first one out. Speed of four, very poor. Stealing ability of six. Carly Stremski steps to the plate. 0 for 1 today. 8 for 16 in the series with two RBIs. Again, contact at 8. Power of 7. I of 6. Solid numbers there. Contact and power, very good. In 1967, Carl Yastrzemski's Triple Crown MVP season, he hit 326, 121 RBIs, with 44 homers. Captain Pryor would love to jack one out now. He'll be swinging away. Munson flashes a sign. Louisiana Lightning Ron Guidry sets and delivers to Yastrzemski. Yastrzemski swings, and that ball's hitting the right field. Do we want to signal Mike Andrews to round second and try for third base? The ball is very shallow. Andrews is a slow runner, and Reggie Jackson has a cannon for an arm. No, he will stay. So back-to-back -back singles with one out. Andrews at second, Yastrzemski at first, and now stepping to the plate, George Scott, the Red Sox first baseman. One for one today. He scored on the Caligniera homer. <clears throat> Six for 14 in the series, two RBIs. 1967, Scott hit 303, 19 home runs, and 82 RBIs. He does have a home run in the series. Contact of 9, power and eye of 6. Very good numbers here, especially contact. So with one out, Gidry sets and delivers to Scott. He'll be swinging away. And Scott rips that ball deep to left. Roy Wright going back, but this one's out of here. A three-run homer for George Scott. The Red Sox lead 5-1. Unbelievable as they are taking Ron Guidry to the whooping shed. High fives all over in the Red Sox dugout. As a victory for the Red Sox here in Game 5 will clinch the series against the 78 Yankees. Rico Petroselli steps to the plate. What did Rico do? I think he walked. Let's quickly check to see what Rico Petroselli did. He walked his first time up. Petroselli, 8 for 15 in the series. One homer, two RBIs, 533 batting average. Contact of 7, power of 6, eye of 6. In 1967, Rico, 259. 17 homers, 66 RBIs. He'll be swinging away. Let's see if the Sox can go back-to-back -back off Louisiana Lightning. Munson flashes a sign. Gidry fires the ball in. And Petroselli sends that ball deep to right center. Back-to-back -back Jets. Unbelievable. The Red Sox now lead 6-1. to one. As the boos start raining down here at Yankee Stadium, the Bronx cheers. Oh, wow, this is a shocking turn of events as Ron Guidry is being roughed up here early and often. He's given up three home runs. Tony Caligniero, George C. Scott, and now Rico Petroselli. Red Sox lead 6-1 to one as that the Red Sox dugout is frantically happy. A lot of game left to play here, folks, though. Dalton Jones steps to the plate as this crowd has got... Very silent here in the Bronx. Dalton Jones in 1967. 289 average. Three homers, 25 RBIs. Again, he is not 0 for 2 in the series. I don't know why it's not showing correctly. He has three hits in the series with four art with uh, three RBIs. He's a left-handed pull hitter. Contact of 5, which is average. Power and I, 3 and 4 respectively. Below average to poor. And there's one out here. And it's been a Red Sox explosion so far. Let's see if Dalton Jones can continue that. He'll be taking. Gidry sets and delivers. Strike 1. Gidry comes inside with that fastball. Hits the corner. 
Jones will be swinging away. Munson flashes a sign. Gidry sets and delivers to Jones. Strike three. And he strikes him out on the one-two count. So there's two outs. Tony Caligniero steps to the plate. He got his second hit of the series, and boy, was it a big one. A two-run bomb in the top of the second. Tony sees one for one today. Home run, two RBIs. Against left-handed pitching, contact of eight. Power of eight. Excellent numbers. High of five. Tony C. will be swinging away. Gidry sets and delivers to Caligniero. And Caligniero strikes out in the one-two count swinging. But the damage was done. Four runs for the 1967 Red Sox. Homers by George C. Scott and Rico Petroselli. We go to the bottom of the third. The 1967 Red Sox, six. The 1978 Yankees, one. Leading off for the Yankees, Bucky Dent, the shortstop. He had the game-winning RBI in game number one. That seems so long ago right now to these Yankee fans here in the stadium. Bucky Dent is two for 13. No homers, one RBI. That's 154 batting average. He is a right-handed pull hitter. Contact against right-handed pitching, five. Power and eye, three and four, respectively. Contact is average. Power and eye, poor. Red Sox infield will shift left. Santiago sets and delivers. Dent sends one out in the right field. Click near coming out, but can't make the catch. So a leadoff single for Bucky Dent. Willie Randolph. Willie Randolph steps to the plate. 0 for 1 today. 4 for 15 in the series. Contact is 7. Power of 2. I of 8. Power number is very poor. Contact and I, good. Very good. He's a right-handed normal hitter. Red Sox infield will shift into double play depth. Ryan sets the signs. Santiago nods and delivers. Here's the pitch to Randolph. Ground ball to Foy, who goes over to first. One away. Dent advances to second. Munson steps to the plate. Bucky Dent's at second. Very poor speed and poor base running. Munson 0 for 1 today. 4 for 16 in the series. He's a right-handed spray hitter. Contact of 8, which is very good. Power and eye, very poor. 2 and 3, respectively. Santiago sets and delivers to Munson. Munson grounds it to Andrews. He throws over to Scott. Two away. Dent advances to third. So with two outs, Greg Nettles comes to the plate. As the Yankee fans start to cheer, they're hoping that Nettles can send one deep, deep, deep and gone to cut this lead in half. Nettles 0 for 1 today. Contact is 7. Power of 7. Eye of 6. Very good numbers. Left-handed pull hitter. The Red Sox infield will shift right. Outfield straightaway and normal. Ryan flashes the signs. Santiago nods his head. He sets and delivers to Nettles. And he walked him on the 3-1 count. That's Santiago's second walk. Now Reggie Jackson comes to the plate. Jackson 0 for 1. 3 for 16 in the series. 1 RBI. That's 188 batting average. They've held him down. They've been able to hold down Mr. October. Contact of 7. Power of 8. Eye of 7. Excellent numbers here for Reginald Jackson. Yankee fans come to their feet. Left-handed pull hitter, Red Sox infield will shift right. Hoping to get a double play, though. Outfield straight away and normal. Santiago sets and delivers to Jackson. Jackson pops it up in the air. And that's out number three. Yankees threaten, but don't score. As Foy makes the catch on the pop-up. We go to the top of the fourth. The Red Sox, six. The Yankees, one. Leading off for the Red Sox, the third baseman, Joe Foy. Foy is three for 13 in the series. Two home runs at five RBIs. One for one today. 231 batting average. Foy has contact, power, and eye. All of sixes. Good, solid numbers there. He'll be swinging away. Gidry sets and delivers to Foy. Foy sends that ball in the left field. Roy White coming on hard, and he makes a fine running catch. In left center. One away. 
Mike Ryan steps to the plate. Once again, Mike Ryan 0 for 8, 0 for 1 today. Red Sox catching is 0 for the world in this series. Contact of 4, power of 2, eye of 6. Not very good numbers there except for the eye. Ryan will be swinging away. Gidry sets and delivers. Ryan sends that down to Shambles who robs him of a base hit and takes it to the bag himself. Ryan thought he had his first hit of the series there. Shambles made a fine defensive play, out number 2. Reggie Smith steps to play 0 for 2 today, 4 for 21 in the series. Contact 6, power 6, I 6. Gidry sets and delivers to Smith, swinging away. Smith strikes out in the 2-2 two -two count. Top of the 4th is over. We go to the bottom of the 4th with the Boston Red Sox 6, the New York Yankees 1. Leading off for the Yankees, Sweet Lou Pinella. He walked his first time up. 5 for 15 for the series, two, 2 RBIs, 333 batting average. Excellent contact number of 9, power and I, 3 and 4 respectively, 4. Right-handed pull hitter, Red Sox infield will shift left. Santiago will set and deliver to Pinella. Pinella rips it over to Petroselli who fires the Scott for one away. Roy White steps to the plate. The Yankee left fielders one for one today. Two for 15 in the series. Contact is seven, which is good. Power of five, which is average. I of six, which is above average. Left-handed normal hitter. Red Sox infield and outfield straight away and normal. Santiago sets and delivers the pitch. White swings and that ball is going to drop in front of Smith for a one-out single. Roy White, average speed of 5. Stealing ability of 7, which is good. He is a threat. He possibly could run. I don't know if he would, as they're down 5 runs. Mickey Rivers steps to play 0 for 1 today. 1 for 13 in the series. Left-handed pull hitter. The Red Sox infield will shift right, hoping to uh, get 2 for 1 and get out of this inning. Against right-handed pitchers, Rivers contact to 7. Very good. Power and I, four and three. Poor. Santiago sets and delivers to make the quick. Rivers grounds it to Andrews, who goes to Petroselli, back to Scott. But they only can get White at second. Fielder's choice. Mickey Rivers is on at first. Two away now. Rivers is a definite threat to steal. Speed of eight, stealing of eight. Chris Chambliss comes to the plate. 0 for 1, 2 for 14 in the series. Left-handed normal hitter. Red Sox infield outfield straight away and normal. Against right-handed pitching. Shambliss contact is 7. Power and I of 4. So the contact number is good. Power and I number is poor. Santiago sets and delivers. He'll be pitching out of the hold. Rivers is going. Ryan fires down. And Rivers steals second. So Rivers gets himself in scoring position. The count is now full at 3-2 and two with two outs. Shambliss still at the plate. Rivers at second. Santiago sets and delivers to Chris Shambliss. And he walked him on the 3-2 count. So Mickey Rivers is at second. Excellent speed. Chris Shambliss is at, is at first. Poor speed. Decent base runner, though. He reads the ball well off the bat. Bucky Dent, the ninth place hitter. The shortstop comes to the plate. Right-handed pull hitter. Red Sox infield will shift left. Dent looking to come up with a clutch hit here. One for one today. Contact of five, which is average. Power of three, eye of four, which is below average. Ryan goes through the sign. Santiago nods his head. He winds and delivers to Dent. And that ball is grounded. Petroselli, who goes a short way to Andrews. Threat over. We go to the top of the fifth, the 1967 Boston Red Sox 6, the 1978 New York Yankees 1. Mike Andrews steps to the plate, 1 for 2 today, 5 for 18 in the series, 2 RBIs, it's a 278 batting average. He gets left-handed pitching, contact is 7. Power of 4, which is poor, eye of 7. So the 7s are good. He'll be swinging away. And there's a new pitcher. Ron Guidry has been taken out of the ballgame. 
So let's quickly go to Gidry's pitching line, which was not good. He got roughed up today. Ron Gidry, who won game one, only pitched four innings here in game five, gave up seven hits, six runs, all earned, walked one, struck out five, gave up three home runs. The home runs were to Tony Caligniero, George Scott, and Rico Petroselli. So Gidry has been lifted. A very poor effort by Louisiana Lightning. So not like him in 1978. But I guess he was due for a poor outing. Don Gullett steps to the, on the mound. Gullett in 1978 only pitched in eight games, but he's on the roster here. Four wins, two losses, no saves, 44 innings and two-thirds. Walk 20, struck out 28, 3.63 ERA. Gullet against right-handed pitching, stuff of 5, which is average. Movement of 7, which is good, and control of 5, which is average. Mike Andrews' numbers stay the same against left-handed pitching as Don Gullet is a lefty. Andrews will swing away. Here's the wind-up and the pitch by Gullet. Andrew strikes out in the 0-2 count swinging. So that's out number one. Carl Ustremski steps to the plate. Against left-handed pitching, his numbers drop a bit. He goes from a 10 to an 8, a 9 to a 7, and a 7 to a 6 for contact, power, and eye, respectively. Left-handed pull hitter, 1 for 2 today, 9 for 17 in the series. He'll be swinging away. Munson flashes a sign. Gullet winds and delivers to Ustremski. And Yastrzemski strikes out swinging on the 2-2 count. So Gullet strikes out his first two batters he faces here in the top of the fifth. With two outs, George C. Scott steps to the plate. He's two for two with a home run and three RBIs. Contact against lefty nine, which is excellent, outstanding. Power and I, six and six, which are good, solid numbers. Scott will be swinging away against Gullet. Gullet sets and delivers to Boomer. Strike three. And Boomer goes down looking on the 2-2 count. So Gullet strikes out the side. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Yankees trailing the Red Sox by five. Leading off for the 1978 New York Yankees, Willie Randolph. Over two. Contact is seven. It's a good number. Power of two, poor. Eye of eight. Very good. Randolph is a right-handed normal pull, pull hitter. Red Sox infield and outfield straight away in normal. Ryan flashes the sign. Santiago nods his head. He winds and delivers to Willie Randolph. And he walked him on the 3-2 count. As now Santiago's up to 65 pitches. Stamina of 8, so that's going to be about 90 pitches, I think. 90 to 100. Randolph has excellent speed and stealing ability. 8 and 8. Got to watch him. Thurman Munson comes to the plate. Right-handed spray hitter. Red Sox infield will move into double play depth. Munson 0 for 2 today. 4 for 17 in the series. Contact of 8. Power and I 2 and 3 respectively. Those numbers are poor. Contact's very good. Ryan flashes a sign. Santiago sets and delivers to Munson. Randolph is off. Ryan throws the ball. And Randolph steals second. So the Yankees have a runner in scoring position. The Red Sox will get out of double play depth and move back to normal. One ball, no strikes to Munson. Here's the windup and the pitch to the Yankee captain. That ball is sent to center field. Reggie Smith comes up throwing to the plate. Randolph scores. So the Yankees get one back on the Thurman Munson single. Willie Randolph scores from second. As the Yankee fans cheer. As there is still hope, they believe. Now 6-2. to two. Greg Nettle steps to the plate. 0 for 1 today. 4 for 17 in the series. 1 RBI. Left-handed pull hitter. Red Sox infield will shift right. Munson's at first. Speed of two, stealing a six. 
Very slow runner. Okay base runner, though. Nettles, contact, seven, power, seven, I, six. Good, solid numbers there. Santiago sets and delivers to the Yankee third baseman. And that ball's ripped into right. Caligno charging hard towards the line. Makes an outstanding running catch for out number two. Robbing Nettles of extra bases and possibly an RBI. Thurman Munson retreats back to first. So there's two out. There's one out, I'm sorry. And Reggie Jackson steps to the plate. Munson at first. Jackson's 0 for 2 today. 3 for 17 in the series. 1 RBI. It's a 167 batting average. Left-handed pull hitter. Red Sox infield will shift right. Outfield straight away in normal. Santiago sets and delivers to Mr. October. That ball is sent out in the right. Caligniero coming on. And he makes the catch for out number 2. Munson once again retreats back to first. Lou Pinella steps to the plate. 0 for 1 today. 6 for 15. 5 for 16 in the series. Two RBIs. That's a 313 batting average. Excellent contact of 9. Power and I 3 and 4, which are poor. He is a right-handed pull hitter. The Red Sox infield will shift left. Santiago delivers to Pinella. That ball is up the middle, and it's going to drop in front of Reggie Smith. Munson's trying to go to third. Here comes the throw, and he's safe. He beats the throw as he slides in safely. The Yankees have runners at first and third. Two outs. Roy White comes to the plate. The Red Sox have some milling going on in their bullpen. Sparky Lyle is 93% rested. Dan Ozinski gets up in the pen for the Red Sox. And Sparky Lyle. It's an elimination game. If the Red Sox can win this game, this series is over. Roy White steps to the plate. Two for two today. Three for 16 in the series. One RBI. Contact is seven. Power of five. Eye is six. Switch hitters batting lefty against the right-handed pitching Santiago. Normal hitter. Red Sox infield and outfield. Normal and straight away. Ryan flashes a sign. Santiago sets and delivers to White. And that ball goes down to Foy, who throws to Scott, but it's beat. He beats it out for an infield hit. Six to three now. RBI infield hit single for Roy White. Tying run comes to the plate and Mickey Rivers. Tough break for the Red Sox there. Good hustle by Roy White, though. Ryan visits the mound. They ask Santiago, how do you feel? He says, how do I feel? Great. He's still ready to go. Mickey Rivers, left-handed batter. Sparky Lyle and Dan Ozinski still warming up in the Red Sox bullpen. Not ready yet. Chris Shambliss on deck. Rivers 0 for 2 today. Contact is 7. Power and I 4 and 3. So the contact number is good. I and power poor. He's a left-handed pull hitter. The Red Sox infield will shift right. Outfield straight away and normal. Santiago delivers to Rivers. And that ball sent out to center field. Smith is there. He drops the ball. Oh, my God. And a run's going to score. And now it's 6-4 to four on the air by Reggie Smith. That should have been the third out of the inning. Roy White advances to third. Mickey Rivers advances to second. The tying runs at second. Chris Shambliss steps to the plate. And that's going to be it for Santiago. He deserved better. Reggie Smith should have caught that ball. The Yankees are right back in this ball game now with three runs here in the bottom of the fifth. 6-4. to four. Red Sox only up two. They're going to go to the pen. And they're going with uh, okay. Let's go to the pen here. They're gonna go with Sparky Lyle. He's still not ready, but they're gonna go to him. Sparky Lyle will come in. 
Ozinski will sit down. Here's Shambler steps to the plate. Against lefties, his numbers drop connect from 7 to 6, 4 to 3, and 4 to 3 for power and eye. He's a left-handed normal hitter. The Red Sox infield and outfield straight away in normal. Ryan flashes a sign. Lyle sets and delivers to Shambliss. That ball is ground to Petroselli, who goes over the sky for out number three. Inning over, but the damage is done. The Yankees score three and creep to within two. We go to the top of the sixth. The 1967 Boston Red Sox, six. The 1978 New York Yankees, four. Leading off for the Red Sox, Rico Petroselli. Petroselli's 1-for-1 one one today with a home run. In the series, he's 9-for-16, two homers and three RBIs. Contact against left-handed pitching, 7. Very good. Power and eye, 6. Above average and good. He's a right-handed spray hitter. Gullet struck out the side in the top of the 5th. He would love to duplicate that again. Gullet against right-handed batting. Stuff of five. That's how well he throws his pitches. Movement of seven. So he has good movement on his ball. Control of five, which is average. So stuff and control are average. Petroselli be swinging away. Gullet sets and delivers to Rico. And Rico sends that ball. A soft liner cut by Willie Randolph going towards the second base bag. One away. Dalton Jones steps to the plate. The designated hitter is 0 for 2 today. Again, he's not 0 for 3 in the playoffs. He has 3 hits with, I believe, 4 RBIs. That did not load properly. I do not know why. Dalton Jones. Actually, I can tell you exactly what he is in the series. Hold on a moment. Let's go to the BNN player page. I'm sorry, Dalton Jones is seven. Is that right? Seven hits at 18 at bats. Um, I don't think that's right. Hold on. Where's the playoff? So 389 batting average. Yeah, something went wrong here. This isn't even right. Anyway, back to the game. Dalton Jones does have hits in this game. In this series. So Dalton Jones steps to the plate. Contact of 5, which is average. Power of 3, eye of 4, below average. He's a left-handed pull hitter against Gullet. He'll be taking. Gullet sets and delivers. Ball 1. Jones will be taking again. Ball two. Jones will be taking again. Ball three. Munson just glares out at Gullet. Wants him to get the ball over. Jones looks down at the third base coach, gets a sign. Gullet sets and delivers. Strike one. Gets that off speed over right down the middle of the plate. Dalton was taking all the way. 3 1 count. Jones will be swinging. Gullet sets and delivers to the Red Sox designated hitter. That ball sent to Randolph. Over to Shambliss. Two away. Now up Tony Clignero. One for two today with a home run. There's a two-run homer. Against left-handed pitching. Contact of eight. Power of eight. Outstanding numbers. Eye of five, which is average. He'll be taking. Gullet sets and delivers to Tony C. Ball one. They'll be taking again. Ball two. As Tony C will not chase. Two balls, no strikes. Tony C will be swinging away. Munson flashes his sign. Gullet goes into the windup and delivers to Caligniero. And Caligniero rips that ball into center field. Roy White is there, however. And he makes the catch. For the final out of the inning. You go to the bottom of the sixth. 1967 Red Sox 6, the 1978 Yankees 4. 
Yankee fans cheer that effort by Roy White. Sparky Lyle comes back out onto the mound for the Red Sox. He got the last out of the bottom of the fifth. Sparky Lyle, in 1967, was one win, two losses, five saves. Pitched 43 in a third inning. Walked 14, struck out 42, ERA at 2.28. Against right-handed batting, stuff of six, which is good. Movement of eight, which is very good. Control of six, which is good. Bucky Dent steps to the plate. Yankee shortstop. One for two today, three for 15 in the series. Contact of five, which is average. Power and I, three and four respectively, which is poor. Right-handed pull hitter. The Red Sox infield will shift left. Lyle sets and delivers to Dent. Strike three, you're out. Dent strikes out, swinging on a 2-2 count. One away. Red Sox throw the ball around in the infield. Ra Willie Randolph steps to the plate with one out. 0 for 2 today. Contact of 7, which is good. Power of 2, which is poor. Eye of 8, which is very good. Right-handed normal hitter. Red Sox infield and outfield normal and straight away. Ryan flashes his sign. Sparky Lyle sets and delivers to Randolph. And he strikes him out on the 0-2 count swinging. So two strikeouts. Red Sox throw the ball around once again. Back to Lyle. So back-to-back -back strikeouts for Sparky Lyle. Stepping the plate. Yankee captain and catcher Thurman Munson. One for three with an RBI. Contact of eight. Very good. Power and eye of two and three. Poor. Munson is a right-handed spray hitter. Lyle sets and delivers to the Yankee captain. And he strikes him out in the 0-2 count swinging. 1-2-3 go the Yankees. Alrighty, it says the streaming quality is poor. I don't know why. I can't figure it out. But we're going to continue on as we are still on the air, it seems. Alright, Joe Foy steps to the plate for the Red Sox. One for two today. Three for 14 in the series. Two home runs. Five RBIs. Don Gullett comes back out to the mound. Two innings pitch. He struck out three. No walks. Foy. Contact, power, and eye. Sixes across the board against left-handed pitching. Good, solid numbers there for the Red Sox third baseman. He'll be taking. Gullet sets and delivers. Strike one. Fastball hits the inside corner. 0-1 count. Foy will be swinging away. Munson flashes a sign. Gullet sends that ball in, and Foy sends it out. Home run, Joe Foy. That's the fourth Red Sox home run. That's Foy's 
third home run in the series. Unbelievable. The Red Sox take a 7-4 lead. As once again, Yankee Stadium has gone silent. A lot of excitement in that Red Sox dugout, though. So Mike Ryan steps to the plate. Yankees pitching has been roughed up today. They've given up four home runs. Ryan 0 for 2 today, 0 for 9 in the series. Very poor batting numbers here. Contact of 4, power of 2, eye of 6. The only thing that's good is the eye. He'll be taking. Gullet delivers. Ball 1. Fastball missed. He'll be taking again. Strike 1. Fastball hits the outside, inside corner on that one. 1-1 one, one count to Mike Ryan. He'll be swinging away. Here's the wind-up and the pitch by Gullet. Ryan swings down to Shambliss, flips it over to Gullet, who's covering out number one. Reggie Smith steps to the plate, the center fielder who has a big error today. Helped the Yankees score another run. Like to make up for that. 0 for 3 today, 4 for 22 in the series. Contact power and eye against left-handed pitching. Six across the board. Solid numbers there. Reggie Smith is a switch hitter. He'll be batting right. He's a normal hitter. Munson flashes a sign. Gullet in the windup and the pitch to Reggie Smith. Smith swings and rips a single in the left. But he continues to run. It's a second error by Roy White who muffs the ball once again. Good hustle by Reggie. To continue to run and get the second with one out. He's in scoring position. Excellent speed and base running. Mike Andrews comes to the plate. Red Sox would love to tack on another run. As they currently lead the Yankees 7-4. Andrews 1-3 for three today. 9-5 for, for 19 in the series. 2 RBIs. 263 batting average. Contact is 7 against left-handed pitching. Power of 4, which is poor. I of 7. So the 7s are good numbers there. Andrews will be taking. Gullet sets and delivers. Ball one. That ball was low. Fastball was low. Munson looks back at the umpire. Has a word with him. Andrews will be taking again. Here's the windup and the pitch to Mike Andrews. Strike one. That off-speed pitch gets over. Looks like a slider. 1-1 one, one count. Andrews will be swinging away. Here's the wind-up and the pitch by Gullet to Mike Andrews. Andrews sends that ball up the middle. Reggie Smith hits third and holds up. So, a single for Mike Andrews. Mickey Rivers has a cannon for an arm, and the third base coach decided to hold him as the ball was hit hard into the outfield. So, with one out, Reggie Smith at third. Mike Andrews at first. Captain Carl Yastrzemski comes to the plate. Yastrzemski, 1 for 3 today, 9 for 18 in the series, no homers, 2 RBIs, that's a 500 batting average. Against left-handed pitching, his numbers do drop from 10 to 8 for contact, 9 to 7 for power, and 7 to 6 for eye. Still very good numbers for Captain Carl Yastrzemski. He will be taking, here's the wind-up and the pitch by Gullet. Ball 1. He'll be taking again. Ball two as he comes inside. Gullet comes inside with a fastball. Two balls. No strikes on Yastrzemski. Gullet sets and delivers. Strike on the outside corner. Fastball hit the outside corner. Two balls. One strike. Yastrzemski will be swinging away. Andrews is at first. Reggie Smith is at third. Corners are in for the Yankees. Outfield normal. So if Yastrzemski hits the ball either to short or second, a run will score, but he is a left-handed pull hitter. Here's the wind-up and the pitch to Captain Carl. Yastrzemski swings down to Shambliss. Runner holds. Shambliss takes it to the bag himself. Two outs, and Andrews advances to second. 
So that's going to leave it up to George Scott to knock in these two runs. Scott, two for three today, one home run, three RBIs. For the series, he's seven for 16, two home runs, five RBIs. That's a batting average of 438. Against left-handed pitching, contact of nine, which is outstanding, folks. Power and eye of six, which is good. Good, solid numbers there for those two categories. Scott will be taking. Gullet sets and delivers. Jumps out in front of him. No balls, one strike. Scott will be swinging away. Munson flashes the sign. Here's the windup and the pitch. Scott sends it to Randolph, who goes over the shambles. The Yankees get out of the jam, but they do give up a run on the Joe Foy homer. We go to the bottom of the seventh. The Red Sox lead the Yankees 7-4. to four. They could have got more, but they did not. Out on the mound still is Sparky Lally. He's thrown 15 pitches. We go to the bottom of the seventh. The Red Sox are going to get Dan Ozinski back up. And even their closer, John Wyatt. Let's see what he is. He's 81% rested. But they're going to get him up in the pen. As if the Red Sox can close this series out if they win, the Yankees have to win to keep on playing. Leading off for the Yankees, left-handed batter, third baseman, Greg Nettles. 0 for 2 today, 4 for 18 in the series, 1 RBI. Left-handed pull hitter, the Red Sox infield will shift right. Outfield straight away and normal. Against left-handed pitching, Nettles' numbers drop. They go from contact to 7 to 6, power from 7 to 6, I 6 to 5. Lyle in the windup. And the pitch to Nettles. And that ball is sent out in the left. Yastrzemski charging in hard. It makes a fine running catch in shallow left center. One away. Reggie Jackson comes to the plate. 0 for 3 today. 3 for 18 in the series. Only one RBI. Batting average 167. They've really held Mr. October down. Left-handed pull hitter. Red Sox infield once again will shift right. Outfield straight away in normal. Reggie Jackson... Against left-handed pitching, contact drops from 7 to 6. Power drops 2 from 8 to 6. I drops 1 from 6 to 5. Here's the wind-up and the pitch by Lyle. Jackson swings, sends it out in left field. Shrepsky coming in hard, and he makes another fine running catch for out number 2. Dan Ozinski and John Wyatt still warming up in the Red Sox bullpen. Lou Pinella steps to the plate with two outs. Right-handed pull hitter. Red Sox infield will now shift left. Outfield straight away and normal. Pinella one for two in the ser uh, today. Six for 17 in the series. Two RBIs. That's a 353 batting average. Contact of nine versus left-handed pitching. Power and I three and four respectively. So the contact is excellent. Power and I poor. Lyle sets and delivers to Sweet Lou Pinella. And that ball is scorched into left field. The strips, he can't make the play. And that's going to be a double for Lou Pinella. So a two-out double. Rory White comes to the plate. Lyle's now up to 27 pitches. Let's check our bullpen again. Ozinski and Wyatt still warming up. They're not ready. Mound visit. Lyle says, I should be fine for this inning. We'll see after how much more I can handle, as he's been relied upon heavily in this series. Roy White will be batting right-handed against the left-handed pitcher. Roy White's a switch hitter. 3-for-3 three three today with one RBI. 4-for-17 in the series, two RBIs, 235 batting average. Contact to 7. Power and I, 5-6 and six respectively. Good, solid numbers there for Roy White. He's a normal hitter. Red Sox infield, outfield, straightaway and normal. 67 Sox, 7. 78 Yanks, 4. Red Sox leading by 3. Ryan flashes the sign. Here's the windup and the pitch by Lyle. And he strikes out Roy White swinging. The Red Sox maintain their 7-4 lead.
Great job by Sparky Lyle once again. We go to the top of the eighth. Ozinski and Wyatt are ready in the pen. We're going to sit them down. Sparky Lyle has done his job. Rico Petroselli comes to the plate. One for two today with a home run. And what a bomb it was. He's nine for 17 for the series. Two home runs, three RBIs, 529 batting average. Um, Don Gullett is still on the mound for the Yankees. He's pitched three innings, no walks, three Ks. Against left-handed pitching, Rico Petroselli has a contact of seven, power of six, eye of six. Good, solid numbers there for Rico. Gullet sets and delivers to Petroselli. Petroselli swings and sends that ball in the right field. Jackson can't get to it. It's a single for Rico Petroselli. Hello, PB4 Gaming. He's back. So a leadoff single for Don uh, for Rico Petroselli off Don Gullet. Dalton Jones steps to plate over three today, and we might have a pinch hitter here. Let's see. Let's look at Hawk Harrelson's numbers. Harrelson will come in to pinch hit for Dalton Jones, who's had a tough game today. So, Hawk Harrison comes in the game, and against left-handed pitching, contact a 7, power a 7, very good numbers, I of 5, average. On the series, 2 for 9, no home runs, no RBIs, 222 batting average. He's a right-handed spray hitter. Against right-handed batting, gullet, stuff of 5, movement of 7, con control of 5, excuse me. Harrison will be taking, gullet sets and delivers. Strike one on the inside corner. So no balls, one strike. Harrelson will be swinging away. Munson flashes a sign. Here's the windup and the pitch to Harrelson. Harrelson swings and sends that ball deep to center. Roy White going back, 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 back on the warning track. And he makes the catch. Petroselli retreats back to first. So Hawk Harrelson gave it a ride. But a fine catch by Roy White. Tony Clignero steps to the plate. Tony C, one for three today. One home run, two RBIs. Contact of eight. Power of eight. Outstanding numbers there. I of five, which is average. Tony C will be swinging away. Gullet sets and delivers. Petroselli at first. Pet Tony C sends that ball deep. This could be a second home run. And it is in the left center. Tony Caligiero with his second bomb. Two run home on the Red Sox. Take a 9-4 lead here in the top of the eighth. As pure jubilation in that Red Sox dugout. Tony Caligiero, his second home run as he has broken out in a big way from his slump. Unbelievable. Joe Foy steps to plate. He's homer today. He's two for three. One home run, one RBI. He has three home runs in this series. Four for 15 with six RBIs. That's a 267 batting average. Let's see if he can go back to back. Let's quickly go to the Boston bullpen and get our relievers back up here, folks. So we're going to get Ozinski back up. He's still ready. And we're going to get John Wyatt back up. He's still ready. So we have one out, so let's sit them down again. We don't want to tire them out, as you can do that. I play with the warm-up rule. I'm not going, I'm not showing you the, the um, second screen because I've been having trouble with OBS losing the sound when I do that. So I'm not going to do that until I figure that out. So Joe Foy steps to the plate. Six is across the board. Contact power and eye. Gullet's still out there. They haven't gotten him out. This is an elimination game. The computer has not taken him out, which is shocking. Oh, well. He'll be taking. Gullet sets and delivers to Foy. Strike one. Fastball hits the outside corner. No balls. One strike. Foy will be swinging away. Munson flashes a sign. Gullet sets and delivers to Foy. 
And Foy sends that ball in the right center. Reggie Jackson over, and he makes the catch for out number two. Mike Ryan steps to the plate. 0 for the world. 0 for 10 in the series. 0 for 3 today. And a new pitcher comes in the game finally for the Yankees. Raleigh Eastwick. Right-handed pitcher. Stuff is 3, which is bad. Movement control 7s, which is good. So he tries to hit his spots here as his stuff is not good. And with that being said, the Red Sox once again will get their bullpen up. Dan Ozinski. John Wyatt. Both are ready. Ryan will be swinging away. Here's the pitch from Eastwick. And that ball is sent down to third. Nettles makes a fine play and throws over the Shambliss inning over as Ryan is robbed of a hit. So we go to the bottom of the eighth. The Red Sox lead 9-4 over the 1978 New York Yankees. Mickey Rivers to lead off. Ryan visits the mound. I'm good for another hitter or at least, or two at least. So we're going to let... Lyle pitched the left-handed Mickey Rivers and Shambliss. And hopefully get them both out. Let's quickly go to our bullpen. Wyatt's ready. We're going to sit Ozinski and Wyatt down. Don't want to tire them out. Wyatt will be coming in. He'll be next. So Rivers 0 for 3 today. Contact is 6. Power of 4. Eye of 3. Contact numbers solid. Power and eye poor. He's a left-handed pull hitter. The Red Sox infield will shift right. Outfield straight away and normal. Lyle sets and delivers to Mickey Rivers. Rivers grounds it to Scott, who takes it to the bag himself for out number one. Red Sox are five outs away from clinching this series. We will now get go back to the bullpen, and John Wyatt will get back up in the pen. He's ready. We're getting... Dan Ozinski back up in the pen. He's ready. Chris Chambliss steps to play 0 for 2 today. Contact of 6. Power of 3. Eye of 3. Contact number is okay. It's a solid number. Power and eye are poor. Left-handed normal hitter. The Red Sox infield outfield straight away and normal. Lyle delivers to Chambliss. Strike. And he strikes him out in a 2-2 count. As the Red Sox throw the ball around, Red Sox are four outs away from winning this series. Now up Bucky Dent, and that's going to be it for Sparky Lyle, as John Wyatt will be coming in to get the final four outs. At least that's what we hope. John Wyatt will replace Sparky Lyle. Ozinski will sit down. Bucky Dent, one for three today. Contact of five. That's average. Power and I, three and four, are poor. He is a right-handed pull hitter. Red Sox infield will shift left. Wyatt sets and delivers to Bucky Dent. Dent smashes that ball to the gap. That's going to be two, I think. Smith chases it down. But that's a two-out double for Bucky Dent. Now up Willie Randolph. Yankees don't want to go away easy here. Right-handed normal hitter, 0 for 3 today. Contact is 7 against right-handed pitching. Power 2, which is poor. Eye of 8. Those are 7, 8, very good numbers. Wyatt's stuff is 4, which is below average. But his movement is 8, which is good. And his control is 5, which is average. And Jim Lomborg has got up in the pen. We could go to Lomborg to get some outs here, as it's an elimination game. He, we can win this one. So, Red Sox infield, now field straight away at normal. Wyatt sets and delivers to Willie Randolph. And that ball's ripped down to third. Four makes a fine play over to Scott, inning over. We go to the top of the ninth. The 1967 Boston Red Sox 9, the 1978 New York Yankees 4. The Red Sox have roughed up Yankee pitching today. In the tune of, I believe, five home runs. Let me quickly check that. Let me see. Let's look at the home runs here. Scott, 2. 
That's a second. Scott had a homer. Petroselli had a homer. That's two. Foy, three. Caligniero, two. Five. So five home runs have been hit off Yankee pitching. Back to the broadcast. Let's look at our... Lombard still warming up, just in case. Reggie Smith to lead off the inning. One for four today. Contact of six. Power of five. Eye of six. So, solid numbers there. Against Raleigh Eastwick. Stuff of three. Movement of seven. Control of seven. Smith will be batting left-handed against the right-handed Eastwick. He'll be swinging away. Eastwick sets and delivers to Reggie Smith. Smith sends it down to Shambliss, who takes it to the bag himself, out number one. Mike Andrews comes to the plate, two for four, six for 20 in the series, two RBIs, batting 300. Gets right-handed pitching, contact to seven, which is good. Power of three, poor, eye of seven, which is good. He'll be swinging away against Raleigh Eastwick. Eastwick sets and delivers. Andrew swings and sends that ball out in the left field, left center. Who's going to get it? Roy Wright drops the ball. That's his third error of the game. Oh, he's been horrendous in left field today for the Yankees. As PB4 Gaming says, rest in peace, Yankees. Uh, well, it's not over yet, PB. Mike Andrews at first with that Roy White error. Now stepping the plate, Carly Stremski. Outstanding numbers against right-handed pitching. One for four today. Contact at ten. Power at nine. Eye of eight. The Shrimps will be swinging away. Munson flashes the sign. Eastwick delivers to Captain Carl. The Shrimpsky pops it up. Who's going to get it? Shambliss catches that pop up in foul territory. Andrews retreats back to first. Well, there's two outs. And George C. Scott steps the plate. Two for four today. One home run, three RBIs. Contact at nine. Excellent. Power at I six. Solid numbers against right-handed pitching. Eastwick sets and delivers a Scott. Scott swings. Dent has it. He goes to Randolph inning over. So we go to the bottom of the ninth. The 1967 Boston Red Sox nine. The 1978 New York Yankees four. The Red Sox are three outs away from winning this series. Leading off Thurman Munson, the Yankee captain. We have Lomborg in the pen. He is ready if we have to go to him. He was going to start today, but we held him back. We're going to sit him down for a moment. John Wyatt is still out there. Munson's a right-handed spray hitter. Red Sox will guard the lines. Outfield straight away at normal. Wyatt sets and delivers to Munson. That ball is popped up. Petroselli calls it. Out number one. Red Sox two outs away from victory. We're going to get Lomborg back up. Nettles is a left-handed pull hitter. The Red Sox infield will shift right. Outfield straight away in normal. Nettles 0 for 3 today. Connect 7. Power 7. I 6. Wyatt. Stuff of 4. Movement very good at 8. Control 5. Average. Wyatt sets and delivers to Nettles. Nettles grounds it to Andrews. Over to Scott. 2 away. As the Red Sox now step up. To the last step of the dugout as they're waiting for this last and final out of this series. And it's going to be up to Reggie Jackson, Mr. October, to extend it for the Yankees. Jackson 0 for 4 today. 3 for 19 in the series. No home runs. Only 1 RBI and 158 average. He has not been Mr. October in this series. This 1967 Red Sox pitching has held him down beautifully. Contact of 7. Power of 8. Eye of 7. John White sets and delivers to Mr. October. Jackson grounds it to Scott, takes it to the back himself. This series is over. The Red Sox swarm the field. They have defeated the 1978 New York Yankees 9-4 in Game 5 and have taken this series four games to one. Outstanding. Hats off to the 1967 New York uh, Boston Red Sox. 
And let's just show you as PB4 Gaming says, I miss Derek Jeter. Yeah, he's a very good player, Derek Jeter. So the Red Sox are victorious here. And let's just bring, let's go to OBS and hope I don't lose the sound. Let's try to bring up this next page. I think I can. Let's go to Window Capture. Hit OK. And hit OK again. And this should pop up in a moment, the final box score. So let's make sure this pops up before I go into detail here. And PB4 Gaming's here with me. Check out his station, PB4 Gaming. You can find that by hovering over his number. Just type in PB4 Gaming or go to my channel, and it's one of the related channels. So I'm going to the final box score here. And... The winning pitcher was Sparky Lyle. Santiago, Jose Santiago started the game. He only went four and two-thirds, gave up six hits, four runs, three earned, walked four, struck out none, threw 79 pitches, 44 for strikes. Then we went to the bullpen early. Sparky Lyle gets the win. Clutch pitching by Sparky Lyle. Three innings pitched. One hit. No runs. No walks, five strikeouts. Outstanding. He threw 37 pitches, 27 of them for strikes. Then John Wyatt came in to get the final inning and a third. One hit. No runs, no walks, no strikeouts. Threw 21 pitches, 14 for strikes. Player of the game, Tony Caligniero. And why was he player of the game? Boy, did he break out in a big way from his slump. Tony C. was two for four with four RBIs and two home runs, and he scored twice. Player of the game. Yankees pitching. Ron Guidry was roughed up early and often. Very rough outing for Louisiana Lightning. Four innings pitched. Seven hits, six runs, all earned, one walk, five strikeouts. He gave up three home runs. He threw 72 pitches, 44 for strikes. Gullet came in, pitched three and two-thirds. Five hits, three runs, all earned. Struck out three, gave up two home runs. The Red Sox offense hit five home runs in total off Yankee pitching in this Game 5 elimination. Gullet threw 42 uh, strikes out of the 65 pitches. Raleigh Eastwick came in for the final inning and a third. Zeros across the board, 21 pitches, 13 strikes. Reggie Smith went one for five. Mike Andrews went two for five, scored a run. Carly Shremsky went one for five, scored a run, struck out twice. Smith struck out twice, Andrews struck out once. Scott, two for five, three RBI, scored twice. Struck out once. Rico Petroselli, two for three. RBI, a walk. Scored twice, had a home run. Dalton Jones, 0 for three. Hawk Harrelson, 0 for one. Tony C, player of the game, was uh, two for four, as I said. Four RBIs. Struck out once. Two home runs. Joe Foy, two for four with an RBI and a run scored. He had a home run. Mike Ryan, 0 for four. He was 0 for the series. Him and Elston Howard was oh the catching was over the series. Neither catcher got a hit. The Yankees struggled mightily offensively. Uh, I mean they scored four runs and in a Ron Guidry start in 1978 well, that was usually good enough to win but he got belted around. Randolph one for four walked once. Munson one for five with an RBI and a run scored. Nettles 0 for 4. Jackson 0 for 5. Pinella 2 for 3. Two runs scored. One RBI. Roy White 3 for 4 with one RBI, but he made three errors in left field. Mickey Rivers uh, 0 for 4 with an RBI. Shambliss 0 for 3. Walked once. Bucky Dent 2 for 4, and he struck out once. So the Red Sox, the Red Sox were up 39 times. Nine runs, 12 hits. Nine runs were all earned. Um... One base on ball. So they struck out eight times, left ten runners on base. The Yankees were up 36 times. Four runs, eight hits, 
three runs were earned as they had three RBIs. Walked four times, struck out five times, left 16 runners on base. Do they give us the series MVP? I don't know. I've never played a series. It's the first time. Let's see if they give us a series. Oh, Rico Petroselli has led his Boston Red Sox in 19...